Apostle Chele from Soshankufe. It was the, my spiritual li uh, uh, life. It was also the finances that I was having. So that is the reason that made me to come to see the men of God. I was having many attacks of which they didn't mention them all. He even go, went behind. So he surprised me. So in a way that I could even not tell him more because he mentioned he went beyond. Amen. And he said he's going to pray for me and then I will see a huge difference. I was even questioning myself if am I called or not. Why are these things happening to me? What was wrong with me? Am I really called by God or maybe that the, the thing of a calling was coming from my mind? So I said, no, let me go and send Apostle Rail. I need a clarification. Right now, I feel so happy. He even prayed for me. I feel so light in my body. Right now, I, I can tell you where I'm going now. I believe that God he has anointed me. He has raised me. I'm going to see miracles. I'm coming with a testimony. What I will say is that we must not be ashamed. Uh, Apostle, we have found them running this race. So there is somewhere where we lack wisdom, where we lack knowledge. So we must not be ashamed or afraid to seek more from the one who has experienced. Like Apostle, he's more anointed. That's what I used to tell my family, my wife. I said, Apostle is anointed more than me. So I must swallow my pride and focus on what God has given me. That is what I said, I'm going to send Apostle. Because even myself, I was lost until now. My name is Akilu Gebremetin. I've come from Sydney, Australia, and the woman beside me is my better half. Her name is Abeba Gebremetin. I've been here a couple of years ago, and I've seen the level of the anointing the Apostle Jerry has, and I wanted impartation. And also we um, have some challenges. We believe there are some curses, and we want him to break our curses. And also we've started ministry, so we need his support and prayer. So we've come for that particular reason. As he was sharing that uh, uh, we have some obstacles, whatever we started, uh, we encounter uh, some problems. So we, w we knew that uh, it can only be dealt with the help of the Lord. And we need someone who is anointed to pray for us. And that's what we got today. Praise the Lord. Look, first and foremost, I want to say uh, something about him. I think he's one of the humblest anointed man of God that I have ever seen. And that's why the Lord used him mightily. And um, that's what I tell everyone, actually. He's the humblest person that I've seen because I've never seen him advertising himself. He lets the Lord advertise him not himself he never boasts about this or that but you see the level of anointing is unmatched by any other uh, apostles right well i went to see him and um, just like what i expected he prayed for us and he told us that uh, the grace of the lord is upon us and all our curses are broken and um, the god is granting us every request that uh, we petitioned and he's guaranteed us and we will have a, we're going to go establish good relationship with pastor uh, apostle jerry now very excited because all our uh, that's what we've come from what we have come for sorry and uh, god is going to bless us abundantly that's what we believe yes <laughs> yes Oh, praise the Lord. I'm so happy, so excited. In fact, there was something that I didn't know that he said that the devil is attacking my bones and I'm healed. So praise the Lord for that. 
Yeah, I'm just very grateful. Yeah. Look, God has given us five-fold uh, of ministry, and this is for the body of Christ, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So everyone should realize that these are gifts to the body of Christ. Now, if we have gifts, we must use them, right? And the level of we we can learn from their experiences, from their anointing. There can be impartation, and also the advice that they give is very very beneficial to our ministries. So anyone who is facing a challenge in his ministry need to come and humble himself before people uh, like uh, Apostle Jerry and learn from them and get the impartation from them and their um, ministry will expand and there will be explosion of uh, blessings in their uh, life as well as in their ministry. Christopher E. Finch, and I am uh, from uh, Brooklyn, United States of America. The reason why I, I came here today uh, was for impartation, for a greater anointing. Um, I believe that God has taken my ministry to another level, and I needed the impartation to facilitate that new level. Well, I have been, I have been looking at um, the apostle on YouTube and while looking at him on YouTube I felt the divine connection that for this season in my life he has the impartation to be able to impart into my life so that's why I came um, he tell me exactly some of the things that I was experiencing in terms of stagnation and certain spiritual attacks because of the area of ministry that I'm involved in and exactly what he says, uh, he was 100% correct. I feel um, that from today, my ministry will never ever be the same. I believe that everything um, that happened in my ministry to bring about stagnation, after today, it has come to an end. But when he prayed for me, um, I, I felt, and I, I really felt a, a, a relief, a release, whatever it is, that was challenging me, whatever it is that was um, weighing me down, I feel totally relieved of it. What I'd like to say, those of you who are uh, viewing us at this time, that you know God's time is the best. Um, he's never late, he's always on time. And I believe that the, God is using um, the, the bishop, he's using the pastor, he's using the apostle in a tremendous way. So if there is any issues that you have, you know, concerning your ministry, concerning your life, I will recommend that you come here and you will surely be delivered. Week of Grace, one-on-one -on -one session with Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Maganisa on the 22nd of January to 27th of January 2018 at Charis Missionary Church Auditorium, Tembisa, Johannesburg, here in South Africa from 9 a.m to 5 p.m. This 2018, it's a year of my greater assignment. As this year is beginning, this is an opportunity for you as the grace of God has appeared to all men to come and experience the power of God in your life by seeing the man of God on one-on-one -on -one session and hear what God wants you to do for this year of my greater assignment this is your chance your time your opportunity to hear what god wants you to do throughout this whole year of 2018 and your life indeed will never remain the same and i believe that god will bless you and touch you wherever you are 
to register you have to call the numbers that are appearing right now on your screen and i believe that god will see you through in this 2018 my year of greater assignment keep on watching charis tv and be blessed shalom